Hey everyone, Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having a fantastic day. In today's video, we're taking a look at HomeUp. HomeUp is part of the GoodLock set of modules. It's free on the Samsung Galaxy Store. And with HomeUp, we can completely customize our home screen, our app drawer, our recent applications. We can also customize the way our folders look, as well as customize our sharing options. Timestamps will be down in the description to help save you time. And if you're brand new to this, let's go ahead and walk through the installation. So what you want to do is you're going to want to open up the Galaxy Store. Go ahead and open up your app drawer. Start typing Galaxy. There it is. And you're going to want to search for the application called GoodLock. So go ahead and hit that search icon. We're going to look for GoodLock. There's GoodLock. So now if you don't see this show up while you're searching, it's probably not available in your region yet. It is getting rolled out to more and more regions, but it's not out to everyone yet. And if that's the case for you, I'm going to go ahead and link another video down in the description that'll help you set up an alternative to GoodLock, such as NiceLock or FineLock, as well as using VPN to get around it. And then uh, watch that video and then come back here. And then once you go ahead and have GoodLock installed, you're going to go ahead and open that up. And that's going to pull up a screen that looks like this. This is a bunch of modules that you can download and install. And each one of these does different things to your device. So what we're interested in is HomeUp. So you want to go ahead and just find that download it it'll take you out to the galaxy store and you'll install it it's real quick real simple thing and then you'll come back here and you just tap on home up so once we have home up open we have several different options here home screen folder backup and restore share manager and task changer all right so let's go ahead and walk through each one of these we have home screen so we have a bunch of options that are going to help change the look and feel of our home screen let's go ahead and go back to that so we have home screen grid and app screen grid so by default, like mine is set to four by six. So if I go here, we see here we have four columns wide, right? One, two, three, four by six down, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, right? We can tell that just by the size of these icons. But we can completely customize that. Let's go ahead and tap on home screen grid and we'll go ahead and make this something like seven by seven, hit apply, go back to our home screen. And you can see our icons got a lot smaller. You can also do this for your app drawer as well. Let's go ahead and see that in action. By default, it's five by five. So if we go down here and look at that, five wide, five down, right? So we'll go back here and change it. Seven by seven, we'll go back here, take a look. And we have seven wide by seven down now. Favorites max count, this is pretty cool. The default is five, we can up this to nine. We'll go ahead and hit apply. And what this refers to is our favorites down here. You see I have four of them added here. We'll go ahead and just drop a few more, all right? Drop it down there, you can add another one. You can see here, we can go all the way up to nine favorites now, and the limit used to be five. Let's go ahead and put another one down here. So pretty cool that we can expand that out. All right, so this next option, loop pages, this is pretty cool. So by default, with your app drawer, as you're scrolling along and you get to the end, it's just gonna stop. Same as when you get to the beginning, right? So I'll go here to the beginning. So if we go back to loop pages and enable that, we'll go back down, go back to our app drawer, and now, we just keep on going. So if you don't want to have to just like go back and forth between them and you just want to keep going, turn that on. The next option is cool too, apps list. So by default, we paginate, right? Through our apps, just like this. So let's go ahead and enable this, apps list. All right, let's go back to our app drawer. Now we have a complete application list here. And what we have is our priority apps on top. And what priority apps are is this. By default, it's just gonna be the first set of applications that you have installed that are outside of a folder. But what happens is, as you start using applications, they'll start getting populated up here. So what happens is, basically, this priority app list turns into your most frequently used list. So I'll give you an example. Let's go down here, and I'm gonna open up Google Chrome real quick. And then if we go back to our app drawer, look at Google Chrome is at the top of the list, because that's the most recent app I just opened. And now, we just go through our apps like this. Pretty sweet. All right, so this next option is for finder access, which is basically our search functionality. And it's saying if we enable this, we can do one more swipe down to enable it. So if we do that real quick on our app screen, let's see that in action real quick. We'll go ahead and swipe up. We have our app screen here. Let's go ahead and swipe down one time. Boom, there's our finder. So now we have quick search functionality within our app drawer. So background blur control, this really doesn't do much. So in theory, when we enable this, what's supposed to happen is we can go in here and we can set the transparency, right? We can make these adjustments to how the blur is gonna look when we have the app drawer load up. So if I take this down to a low number here, I really don't notice a difference. I don't really notice a difference at all. We can mess around with this too, watch, I'll show you. Let's go ahead and increase this up to maximum. We'll go back here to the app drawer. 
I don't really see it. So I don't know. Uh, you know, some of these settings are experimental. Maybe this is one that just doesn't do much, or maybe I'm looking at it wrong, but I just don't see it doing much. However, the next setting does. Let's go ahead and take a look at it real quick. All right, so this next one, background color control. This one does have an effect. Let's go ahead and turn this on real quick. All right, toggle it on. There we go. Let's pick a color here. I'm gonna pick something bright and loud here, this lime green. All right, so we're gonna adjust the transparency a little bit. You can see it shows it in real time there. Let's make it something pretty wild here. There we go. So let's minimize this and we'll open up our app drawer. And there we go, we got some crazy colors going on. So you can adjust the color of your app drawer. Okay, and our final option in the home screen settings is hide app icon label. So by default, we have labels for each of our icons here. You can see them here. And if we enable this real quick, we go back to our home screen, you're gonna see that the labels are now missing. All right, that wraps up the home screen settings. Let's move on to folder. All right, so we tap in here. This is gonna adjust all of our folder sections. And when I mean folders, I mean these right here, these type of folders. All right, so we're in our folder settings and we have a toggle for pop-up folders. So let's look at the default action. So when we open up a folder, it looks like this. It kind of takes up the whole screen, right? So let's go back into these settings. Let's enable that pop-up folder. Let's go back out of here. Now let's open up our folder. Now it just opens up in a little pop-up view. I kind of prefer this actually. In addition to how cool that pop-up folder looks, you also can fine tune the adjustments here too. So you can adjust the transparency, the thickness, the actual color of your pop-up folders as well. Pretty awesome functionality here. Our next option here is cool too, folder title suggestion. So if we turn this on, it's gonna use machine learning to suggest folder names based on the contents in your folders. Let's see this in action real quick. So if we minimize this, I've got a folder here created. We've got the camera assistant and we have the camera in here, right? And we have a blank folder name. So let's go back here real quick and we're gonna enable this option, right? Let's turn that on, turn on that toggle. We'll go back here to my folder. So now if I tap inside this folder name, I'll get a list of folder name options that it suggests based on the contents. And look how good the suggestions are. Well, the first ones are photography and camera. That's right in line with the contents that we have in the folder. So that's a pretty cool option. And lastly, in this section, we can adjust our folder grid size here. So this is kind of cool. Let's go ahead and tap into this. So we have our folder icon size and our folder screen size. Let's see this in action real quick. So I'm gonna make this something crazy here, like seven by seven. We'll click apply. We'll go back here. Let me get this real close for you so you can see. Hopefully uh, the light's not shining. You'll see now that it's gone seven wide and seven down in that folder right there. And when we go back to our three by three, look at it. It's three wide and three down. Hopefully that's coming across there. So the same holds true for the folder screen too, right? So the folder screen is this size right here. So if I make that seven by seven and hit apply, and I go back here and I tap on one of my folders, look at the layout. It's seven wide, right, by seven down. So that's what that's doing right there. All right, our next option that we have in Home Up is Backup and Restore, and this is for your Home Up settings. So what you can do is you can toggle this on and you can do an immediate backup of your current settings. So as you're going around here and playing around, if you know you want to go back in time and revert to some old settings, take backups along the way so you can back everything up. You can even schedule them as well. So pretty cool functionality there. Next up, we have the Share Manager. So let's go ahead and tap inside of here. So right up top, it tells you that the um, share suggestions have been implemented inside of One UI. And I wanna talk about this real quick. So whenever you're in GoodLock and you see this type of message in the modules, that means that particular feature has been tested enough and it's been used by enough of the user community that it's now been baked into One UI. So they're just letting you know that that's now been moved out of Home Up and it's now baked into One UI. And they're leaving this message here for those of you that are used to seeing it here. And pretty soon this will disappear entirely because it's now in your main home settings that we're gonna cover at the end of this video. So the first option here is chip buttons. You see we have these little chips right here. We can enable or disable these. Hide them, you see it right there, how it disappeared. We'll go back and turn those on. Show direct share is gonna take us over to the lab section. Let's see that in action real quick. And what that is, is giving us quick access to sharing to our direct contacts. So we can tap in there and pick what contacts we wanna share with. And lastly, we have add favorites to direct share. So once I tap in here, I'm gonna go ahead and blur this out a little bit because it's got some of my contacts. But what you can do is pick a bunch of contacts from your list to set up speed sharing. So they'll basically show up at the top of your list whenever you go to share a file. So now you have the ability to fine tune and adjust that list. All right, the last section of Home Up and probably my favorite is Task Changer. Let's go ahead and tap in here real quick. So what this is gonna let us do is fine tune the way our recent apps look. So by default, we go side by side like this, right? And we go through and you see each one of our apps and we pick on it. Let's go ahead and customize this real quick. 
So we have a bunch of layout type options, list, grid, stack, vertical list, and slim list. Let's take a look at what each one of these looks like. Here's our grid right here, right? Let's go ahead and tap on that. So if I go back here, boom, now we have a grid of our recent apps. Hopefully I can cook inside the right one here. And we'll go back here to stack. Let's go back and see what that looks like. Now we have a stack. Hey, that's kind of cool looking. All right, let's go back here to vertical list. Let's give that a try. Look how cool that looks. Vertical list going on. And lastly, let's see if we can get in the right section here. I don't really like the way this one's kind of hard to see where you're at. Good luck. Here we go. We have this small list here. Let me tap on there. See what that looks like. Hey, that's kind of refined. That's really good if you have a bunch of them open at once. All right, let's go back in here. Good luck. There we go. I'm going to go back to list. Now, you'll notice as we're changing these options, you're going to see some of these options change too. Watch this real quick. You see how the, one of those minimize there and then it comes back here? Because on some of these, we have the option to go into like mini mode. Let's do that real quick. I'll go ahead and tap here. Now watch, it's all down here, which is great for one-handed use. You see how you can get to all your apps with one hand? That's pretty sweet. We can also pick an option to center the currently running app. So whatever app is current will be focused in the middle. We can uh, enable app labels and show those. And some of the settings even let us use like a circular list and a regular list. We also have recommended apps. And then at the bottom here, we have some kind of experimental features that basically let you fine tune the overall sensitivity, whether or not you want to use the gestures in full screen mode, and whether or not you want to make your gestures top priority. So these are kind of just some experimental settings. So all in all, I'd say Home Up is pretty cool, you know, some free functionality from Samsung. There's no ads or anything like that. So as cool as Home Up is, don't forget though, we also have our regular home screen settings. So if you swipe down, go into settings, and we scroll down here just a little bit, we have home screen right here. And if we go inside of here, you're gonna see that some of these settings are kind of redundant with what we have in Home Up, like our app screen and home screen grid layout. But we do have some cool ones here that are unique to these settings. And one of them that I like in particular is this rotate and landscape mode. So if I turn this on real quick and we go down here, we can now go like this and our home screen will rotate and landscape. So I think that's pretty sweet. So all right, that's Home Up in a nutshell. If you have any questions or comments about today's video, please drop it down in the comments section below. And don't forget, we have the weekly Q&A videos every Wednesday. So if you have a Samsung question, please drop it down in the comments as well, and we'll get to it in a future Q&A video. I really do appreciate your time, and as always, thanks for watching.